We're halfway there, folks. It's phase problem 25. Let's pick up some staffs. Boo-foo staff. Let's make some good use of those. Because here we have a pump Karepkin. Now hopefully I won't miss. And I missed. Okay, that didn't happen. Let me back in. All right, all right. Um, yeah, forget about that last take. Let's try this again. Pump Grapkin is right there. I toss the staff. It poofs. And I get a Pump Grapkin meat. For those of you who have seen the Food Dungeon vid, I think you're probably well aware as to what I'm capable of, capable of now. But, one thing of this Pump Grapkin is I can just fly wherever I want. But, that's not productive now, is it? Let's climb these stairs. A reward, and not even pot. What's that? What does that do? I don't know. Phase uh, problem 26, get your hot piping hot. Phase problem 26 here. Anyways. At this moment, I'm going to take some time in order to refute one of my commenters. Um, and I could see her logic behind this, but unfortunately, I need to prove it that she's wrong just for the sake of her of the rest of our safety. So, we're going to take this dragon herb here and throw it at the flame priest. It does not go through and kill the flame priest. Instead, it just makes it worse. What she probably did is she equipped this penetration bracer. And once you do that, the dragon herb goes through the enemy doing the initially intended damage. All right. Now, in this case, the penetration bracer also has another neat function. It goes through walls. Like that. If you get one of these bracers, have fun! Just make sure you take it off before you throw any pots. And what did we receive from all this? It's a mine Nabari shield. I think that's new. We haven't seen this shield before. What is it? It reduces damage from explosions. And it comes from another nice little feature. It comes with death mask. It comes with its own personally attached death mask. I'm going to have fun with this. Phase problem 27. No witty pun no witty punchline attached. Anyways, oh look, tank. This is just like one of my least favorite um puzzles from the DS version. Now, that other one... Whoops. Okay. Let's try that again. Um, I don't really have any good advice as far as how to dealing with this one. So... One thing you gotta remember is... It fires every other turn. Or maybe not every other turn. Every three turns. So you have to properly use the environment in order to get around. Yeah, this is going to take several tries for me. I'm not good at this. Alright. If I just keep moving like this, can I win? Alright. In this version of the puzzle, just hug the perimeter and don't do anything else. And you'll get through it just fine. Unfortunately for the DS version, I can't say so much. Oh yeah, we get an identify scroll. Lucky us. Hopefully nobody else will bother me while I record. Phase problem 28! Today's problem, there's a bunny on the other side of the stream. What are we going to do about that? 
absolutely nothing. Let's check out this wall. Okay. And let's check out this wall. And this wall, too. Okay. Yeah, that's a healing bunny. So just to be absolutely certain here, I'm going to take a couple precautions. Equipping the arrows and using that power-up scroll. Because so we need to take care of this before this rabbit can heal it. Priority must be given to killing these rabbits. You can't have all your effort negated instantly by some sparkly stuff. Because I fail to see exactly how they do that. Anyways, let's go up. What's our prize this time? It's some mammal meat! There's enough of that where I'm going to be going next, but... Oh well! Mm, phase problem 29. Not sure what to think about that. What I do know... is that there's a nasty monster right next to me! Ah! Run away! Run away! Okay, it looks like this time... You have to be saved by the skeleton mages. Come on, not over here. Not over here. Cast something on me. Don't kill me. Don't. Don't. Okay. Um. All right, success. Can I make it? Yes. Yeah, that room. That your success in that room is fairly random. But we get a katana. Can't be all bad, huh? Problem 30. Ah, oh, yes. Problem 30. It's time to mess around with equipment. First, let's go ahead and equip all of this. Blessing Bracer. Nagamaki. And, well, I can't equip that medical orb. So what this is, it's an exercise in using the right equipment for the right situation. In this case, wear both in order to take out the blizzard, get rid of, start getting rid of them all when you t face the slime, and throughout this whole process, keep your blessing bracer on. Put on your shield first so you don't get owned. And use a medical herb when you need to. Nope, not working today, Queenie. And uh, rest up a little bit. Don't know. Don't need to do this too quickly. Pick this up. Upgrade your equipment as necessary. Or in this case, don't upgrade your equipment as necessary, because this slime is going to come first. As, as you remember, they can't do anything to you, because you're not wearing anything that can rust. Sure, it'll take a while to kill them, but... Or actually, yeah, this is taking way too long. Let's equip that Nagamaki. That'll do it. I'll aim! Aim! Turn! Thank you. Equip a shield. Not that shield, the other shield. And yeah, take this out the big sister. And success! Our prize today is... Another big rice ball. Jeez, where can I find another one of those? Hmm? Hmm? Anyways.